G'day everyone, thanks for joining me, I'm Raid Zero AU and welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival and we're deep in the bowels of the Old Maradon. So in between videos I did go back and make a little bit more ammo, so we should have plenty of ammo now. Uh, and then just made my way back to this spot which I believe is where we left off last time. And now we've got to continue on. Can we get through here? Yep. Uh, which way is it? It's that way. Go. Uh, Oh, I was so happy to have my pulse rifle back just then. Right, so we're heading up here. Okay, light on. Hmm, that doesn't sound good. There's another one there. No, I don't think I've got access to... No, I'm not in range of the uh, small vessel. Uh, we might want to... Yep. Most this meat's probably going to spoil. Oh, did we grab that down there? I think we did. No. No, don't do that. Alright. Misclick. Oh, grab whatever we can. Vegetables, yep. What we could do, because the vegetables are probably going to spoil, is we'll just set that to make some energy bars. Anything else up here? Yep. Let's 
face in the locker. Oh. No, you don't. Here we go. Oh, stop moving. Stop running around. Stop it. Alright, we got some more of them around. We can hear them. Alright, we'll... Hoping to get some armor. We checked that one, didn't we? Yep. All right. So that's where we're going to go now. It's down here. All right. Uh, let's do a heal. <sighs> Coming back. Okay. Got through got through those. All right, what we got going on down here? Hmm. Alright, so we gotta go up here. For one, you can... Ugh. Do you have that up there? We'll see what's in it.
definitely want those. Epic pulse rifle. Difference. Damage 80. Damage 140. It uses laser rifle shells. Uh, right, 600. 600. So it's the same. That, but it's an EM. So we have to use laser rifle cells, which we don't have any on us at the moment. Alright. Nothing else around here except this. F, talk to the Ilmarin and AI. Okay. Authorization code. Accepted. Listing available logs. Log found. St. John, Chief Engineer. Play? Yeah. Mission day 500, log 197, we have found something. 500 days searching for habitable worlds, 500 days without any success. We found a lot of resources, sure, but the captain said we cannot deviate from our mission. The mining crews will take it easy while we head to the next star. At least we've found something. The captain has allowed me to join the expedition. This will feel like a holiday after 499 days staring at the sensor logs and cataloging broken doors. I am quite excited. Okay, play next. Mission day 501. Entry 202. Official complaint. I'm adding this one to the ship's log so no one will complain if hangar B needs to be overhauled. These science guys could not leave this thing on the planet. So we need to hurry to the next damn star. They simply brought it aboard the ship. There is enough room, the captain said, sure. But I'm the one that needs to explain the damages, scratches and strange melted traces in the hangar. If it was me, we'd have left it where it was. Damn science kids. Alright, next. Mission day 503. Mission log 280. Message to the captain. This mess happening in, captain in hangar B is getting out of control, Frank. The wreckage has lost weight and even mass, which seems crazy, spilling some substance all over the floor. We've sealed the doors, but I doubt this will keep this slippery stuff inside. As our lead scientist told me, the wreckage they picked up was covered in biological substance, which it seems which it seems to moulder due to due to the changed atmospheric parameters. Really great. Can you guys guess who's assigned to the cleaning squad? Mission day 514, log entry 382, personal note 32. What did they bring on board? These idiots. It wasn't some sort of biological remains melting from the ship. No, the ship itself is transforming into a semi-liquid state. If that wasn't enough, the substance is growing on every surface like a mushroom, sending out spores. And we might possibly have to cut off this entire section from the ship to prevent this getting out of hand. Mission day 520. Only 420. Official ship log entry. Interim captain of the Ilmarinen. The captain and second commander have been sent to the med bay as well as a third of the crew. The spores have led to some serious infections. We've sent a message to the HQ that all ships are not to make contact with any of these wreckages, which are now referred to as infectors. It seems to be what they do. The report and a warning was sent a day ago. Until help arrives, it might take a while. I'm afraid we have to seal large parts of the ship and flood the area with decontamination fluids. Mission day 550. Log entry 48. Who cares? The crew is lost, or transformed, or how would you call it? We've lost the main control of the ship. My crew and I are at least managed to prevent the alien organisms taking full control, but we could not prevent the ship from moving back to Elion. We've damaged the engines, but I'm afraid this substance is able to repair them over time did not manage to activate the self-destruct, so I'm putting this as a warning for anyone reading this. Get out of here as quick as you can and blast this ship into pieces. It is on you to stop this plaque from spreading to inhabited worlds. There. Legacy. Please, how? System shutdown. Hmm. IDA. Commander. Shall I send the report of our investigations to our Talon contact? Yep, probably should. Commander, incoming transmission. That was quick. Commander, we are glad you remain alive, but we are afraid things are even worse than we feared. 
It seems the legacy has risen again in a distant place, and the poor people of the Umaranen have accidentally brought it back to this system. We will contact our allies and talk about the next steps. May the voices of the past protect you, friend. Not a bad feeling. Okay, uncertain outcomes. Things are heating up. The legacy is no longer just a bedtime story for Fright and Talon children. While the various conflicts between the galactic factions are cooking in the dark and the old menace tries to regain lost ground, the not so unknown friends suddenly make contact. Will you respond to their help request and possibly ignite the powder keg? Okay. Alright, new message incoming. This is incoming. Source unknown, sender unknown. Dear friend, we could not help but notice your dedicated support of the idea of a galaxy liberated from Xerox oppression. If you want to shift your commitment to the next level, we invite you to meet us in the Polaris trading station in the orbit of the planet where you started your voyage in this galaxy. Your suit AI will be able to decode the exact meeting coordinates as soon as you approach the station. Join our campaign and we'll, we'll change the face of the galaxy. Sincerely. Section of 32. Glad. Oh. Where's this take us back? Okay. That's the thing. That was a thing. Um, no, teleporter's not active. No, it's not. Alright, is there any fuel left in this thing? Okay, so it's taken the core out. So, that's no bad thing. Because what we can do is we can use this as a. Uh, with some resources. Wow. And there are definitely some hidden there's some hidden loot in this place, let's say. Uh now. There's the hole. Okay. I'm pretty sure these are These are some of the areas that we went through. Okay. And we've been up there. Basically been everywhere. There's still some things around though. You can hear them. up here. Nothing there. Let's do anything? Probably not. No, yeah, because uh, something's been deactivated. Nothing there. over there that I can see. No. So there's definitely some stuff around. I'm quite sure where they are. Let's check this out. Much in there. else out here? No. Uh, if we went into that section there. Doesn't really matter because we're going to be coming uh, 
we're going to be coming back here and trying to take this thing apart. Down here, that's the med bay there. There's not much left of the med bay, is there? Well, there's some good resources here that we can make use of. Next orbital trading station that way. Hmm. Well, let's go over and see what they've uh, got to say for themselves. So, see you over there. Right, coming into the orbit orbital trading station. Make sure we don't crash into it. We should be able to land here, hopefully. Seems to be the station where we'll meet our unknown friend. Touch any of those. Somewhere. Okay. Repair station. All of these will be. Yeah, don't want to touch any of them. This is a repair station as well. Yep. Goes out to the thing, does it? Just oxygen. These out to the we head up, do we? Here, no, what's that? There we go. No, take a drop a gun just to make sure we don't accidentally shoot someone. Burgers and fries. Food trader. Hello. Another food trader. Okay, and there's the dude that we need to speak to. Hello. Medical trader.
<laughs> so we'll heal ourselves up. I must be upstairs. Aha, it's all the way upstairs. Gardening supplies. What else we got here? Mining core. O2. We must have fill ourselves up. Sky Guys Bar. Okay, so they're all traders. Quantum Star, CPU Extender. Okay, so you can buy these. They're very expensive. <laughs> Unknown device. Okay, leak capacitor, owning chamber, stone statue, no function but looks cool, e pain factor 15.3, hello, yeah, what have you got? Okay. Not really looking to buy anything at at the moment. Restricted access, so this must be it. Meeting, find section of 32. Section of 32, welcome, my dear friend. You seem to be surprised to speak to hovering smiley face in front of a terminal. I'm afraid we need to have some security measures in place. That's why I'm speaking to you by this remote access terminal. Xerox, UCH survivors. Alex? I currently can't relay any of that information, I'm afraid. But let's get started. The Xerox scum are always on our heels, and the AI protecting our little meeting is already detecting some cyber espionage patterns trying to break in on our conversation. Okay. First and foremost, I am your contact person, Sectioner 32, on behalf of GLAD, the Galaxy Liberation and Defense Organization. I would like to thank you for answering our call. You won't regret it, and it will make the galaxy a better place. And that means... First, we'd like to send you on a simple and well-paying mission. Go to a Polaris mining facility and investigate. Your suit AI has just been sent the missing package. It will be decrypted step by step and reveal all necessary info. Please come back here when the mission is completed. Interesting. Nothing to worry about. Just a little surveillance task. Take care, my friend. Sounded like someone got hurt then. Okay, so this is it here. Triggered just before we got in, so... Mm. A bit weird. Okay. Can't enter there, so he's probably in there. It's upstairs. Have a look up here quickly. Okay. 
Okay. Go to the Polaris Asteroid Mining Station. Alright. Well, I guess that's what we're going to be doing. But we're going to be doing that in the next episode. So, I think between now and then I need to get back home and just drop off some stuff and get ourselves prepared. So, I hope you've enjoyed what you've watched. If you have, please leave a like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you all next time. I'm Raid Zero AU, signing out. <laughs>